Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new Salem Cruise Light 263BHXL Bunkhouse Travel Trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside of this RV, then we're going to come back to the outside and then we're going to close it all up and show you what it looks like closed, kind of get you a whole overview of the RV. All right, guys, we're now up inside this new 263 bunkhouse travel trailer. And this is actually a little brother version of the Delaterra I just posted yesterday. You might also check that video out as well. It's the Delaterra 271BH. But this is a lighter weight, a little bit less expensive version of that Delaterra that we did. All right, we're gonna start here in the slide out section for you and you have a traditional jackknife sofa here which does flip down into a bed a little bit of storage behind that sofa that you see as well you have large windows in the slide out area here the windows do have the pull down roller shades on them over here you have a larger u-shaped dinette which does have a storage door on each end of there and a little pull out plastic tub tray that you're seeing there as well now that does also make into a bed for you if you need it for extra sleeping space in the back of the rv you have two bunk beds now down below is the electric box with your breakers and fuses there's a little bit of storage underneath that bunk there's an electric, I'm sorry, not electric, but a USB charger port at each bunk. So you do have 12 volt USB charger ports here. Air conditioning duct up there. And you have a window at the top bunk, a little light area down here. Now back here is the bathroom area. So you have a skylight up above the shower, little vent fan back here, ABS tub surround, little tub, so if you do have a small child, it is a functional tub, foot flush toilet, little storage below the sink area there, and a traditional medicine cabinet. door goes outside so that's kind of nice you can let the kids come straight in and use the restroom without having to track through the whole RV heat duct down there now looking toward the front of the RV you can see there is the electric fireplace right there which is basically a pretty cool little fancy space heater but it's kind of nice looking there little am fm radio system right there there's also room for a large flat screen tv to go there as well a little bit of storage on both sides of that fireplace the unit has the coleman ducted air system now the ducted air is technically an option an air conditioner standard it's just not ducted but if most dealers like to order it with the ducted air but again if you're looking to save a couple hundred bucks you don't have to get the ducted air over here you have the large pantry that you're seeing pop up here so you got plenty of storage space here for all your food then over here to the left, you have the 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt ever chill refrigerator. Over on the left, you have the little 17 inch oven with the three burner stove top and a little cover to cover it up. Little single pull out drawer there and some storage below the sink. The L-shaped counter does give you a decent amount of space here to kind of do a little bit of food prep. And also, 
you know, do dishes or any of that type of stuff as well. And I like the fact that they do have a window overlooking the campsite area from here. So if you are in here kind of prepping food or doing things like that, you can still kind of see out what's going on beside your camper. And you can even open the window there and, you know, talk and all that type of stuff back and forth if you feel like it. Some overhead storage, microwave, and hood range as well. Plenty of room when you first come into the RV here. There's another little heat vent down there. Fire extinguisher on the wall. And then on the side of the cabinet there, you're seeing pop up. That is your monitor panel. Water pump, water heater on gas switch, some light switches, slide switch, and awning switch as well. Now up here is going to be your master bedroom area. So you have a swing door going in and out of here. You have a hanging closet on both sides of the bed, a little shelf that goes across the top as well. And then on the sides of those little closets there, there's a hole in it. So you could set things or put things in there that you can just kind of reach while you're laying down. There's also USB charger ports on both sides of the bed. And there's a little shelf area on both sides of the bed. So you can set drinks and clocks and stuff like that down there if you want to. On this side of the wall, you do also have, again, TV hookups. Air conditioning vent up there. And there's plenty of room to come in and maneuver around here. And the bed does raise up. Both of the windows in the bedroom here do open as well. And I like underneath that bed, it's got those little storage cubby things as well. And then down below that is also another little, probably about four inch high, a uh, little area to slide things like your shoes or slippers and things like that. All right, guys, again, check out that Delaterra 271 BH that I just did. And tell me which one you kind of like better. Put some, uh, you know, a little information down in the comment. Give me an idea what you like better to see. And we're going to take a minute, we're going to go outside, show you around the outside, and then we're going to come back in and show you what this all looks like closed up as well for you. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this Salem Cruise Light 263. And again, the Salem is also the sister product to the Wildwood travel trailers as well. Uh, both go down the same assembly line in the factory when they're built by the same people. Same options. Same features, just a little bit different coloring. We're going to start here in the front section of the RV. You can see a nice rolled back sloped front section. The unit is all aluminum exterior. It does have a lower diamond plate metal here. Two 20 pound propane tanks with the hard bottle cover and the auto changeover regulator. Down behind there on the frame is a battery disconnect. The unit comes with one battery from Couches RV Nation when you purchase from them. But if you want a second one, talk with your salesperson about that. Some people like to have two. Um, there is typical safety chains. I do like the fact that they put a little hook on the side of the frame there to hang them on where they used to not have that. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, seven way Bargman plug, which again has another little area to hold that over there. And you also have a power tongue jack with the built-in LED light manual override as well. Now on the front corner here of the RV, you have pre-wire for solar panel. If you want to do a portable solar panel, that is there. The storage compartment baggage door, you can see pass through storage all the way across there. But that is held up by a magnetic holder, which is just a little bit nicer uh, than the plastic clips. You have the Lippert solid step entry step here on the main door. That is a standard feature and that comes down, touches the ground. It's able to hold more weight and it doesn't shake the camper as much when the kids are running in and out of the RV. You have a power awning with a built-in LED light strip running down the side there. And the awning arms are adjustable so you can tilt it for water runoff purposes. 
traditional RV entry door and screen door on here. And you have a second door again from the bathroom that you seen when we were in there. And that has a screen door as well. Two outdoor speakers here. You have the stove exhaust up here as well. And there's the fresh water tank filled just below the window there. Fresh water tank dump is the white handle down here next to the gas line hookup. And you have the outside little kitchen area right here behind this door. To the left of that is an electric outlet, a spray port hookup right there, and your furnace exhaust. Now the yellow crossbar that you're seeing down there, that is a JT strong arm crossbar. That's a nice feature. This unit has manual stabilizer jacks standard on it with JT strong arm crossbars to help keep the unit from rocking and rolling as you're going in and out of it. Traditional RV hover entry step back here in the back. And then you can also see your low point hot and cold water drains there as well. A porch light back here next to the bathroom door also. So you have the light strip plus a porch light both on this side. And a little bit of blue lighting in those outdoor speakers as well. Now coming on around to the back of the RV, you have the spare tire, which is technically an option if you're one of the people that like to park the RV and never move it. You don't have to buy that if you don't want to. Most dealers, however, do stock it with that spare. But again, make sure it has it when you're comparing pricing. Black tank flush and city water hookups back here. Cable and satellite hookups back here on the rear as well. And then it is pre-wired for an observation camera or backup camera up top here. Personally, I really like the Furion observation camera. That way you can use it while you're driving down the road. It's a nice feature, comes with a wireless little monitor that you put in your truck, plugs into a cigarette lighter. Six gallon water heater located right back here. The drain area and stuff for your gray, black, and galley, everything is done right here on the rear of the coach. One spot drains everything out right here. Your power cord pulls out right here as well. Slide out is an electric slide. This is the Schwintech slide system. The unit is also pre-set up here for slide toppers. They do a bracket there for the Soul Air slide topper and it's got a little gutter track system as well so if you wanted to add an awning cover to cover that slide you can do so please talk with your salesperson about that they'll be glad to help you with that information unit is tandem axle up here in the front section of the RV you have the other side of the pass-through storage and you're also going to have your weight stickers that are going to pop up here. So you're going to have your gross vehicle weight, your unloaded vehicle weight, your carrying capacities, all popping up there for you to see, and your tire sizes and stuff as well. Now we are going to close everything up, show you what it looks like closed as well. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're now back inside this new cruise light trailer here. I want to close this up, just kind of show you what it looks like. And again, it is a Schwintech slide out, electric slide. So you just push a button, it comes in and out. Now on the slide system, if you need to stop, you can just let off the switch, go outside, check, make sure you're not running into anything or any of that type of stuff. You don't have to go all the way out once you push the button. So you can kind of walk it out in stages. And same thing when you bring it in and out. When you stop at a rest area or something like that, you can again do the same thing if needed. So on this version, you can see it is a little tight here could kind of shimmy around the counter you know and get over there and then once you're over there you can completely walk around and use the RV back there um, the bathroom again you could go into the back door and come into the back side of the RV as well again it is just a hair snug right here 
but the camper is usable so you can come in here get to your bedroom take a nap if you're tired and stop at a rest area or something like that so that is totally doable without having to run the room completely out but again you can just bump it out a few inches make it a little bit easier all right guys again thanks for checking out the videos be sure to check out Couches RV Nation, guys. They will save you a lot of money if you're interested. Toll-free number to them, 888-417-8299. Thanks again, guys.